He's, he's basically Exor at like one and a half times. The thing is, Polaroid, one of the, the other Espinosas is a, uh, so other one of his brothers is a Falcon main and an amazing one of that. So he's going to be much more familiar with him. He actually seen. knocked out. Who, Polaroid? Uh, L. L. Oh, okay, wow. Exor, he had Exor and then L. Okay. They're very different styles of Falcon, so I, I'm not honestly surprised. Yep. So it's kind of, I don't know. It's, it's been pretty even. Pretty back and forth. Oh, nice. Really nice tipper. Yeah, Earl was telling me he's been having a very uh, strange tournament. Got his play Obviously, here he is, fourth in melee, and he came, what, seventh in uh, Smash 4? Yeah, I think he had high expectations. Well, I think everyone had high expectations of him for Smash 4. Yeah. I believe he was the favorite. Nice down, nice down. Oh, does that really well. Some slick movement under his, uh, under Earl's aerials. Nice patience there. As soon as he, as soon as he jumps, he reacts to it perfectly and fades back with a fair. Oh, nice button. Yeah, I think Polo coming in with a bit of confidence. He took a game on the Oh, wow. Yeah, he took off a little bit. Oh. Oh, I mean, he's, he's looking really hot. Oh, nasty down at knee. Oh! <laughs> okay, quick three stuck to Polaroid. Rough ending from Earl there, but it was going to take a miracle to bring it back, to be honest. That was the best stage. Yeah, I, I must be. Earl stomped me on this stage, so I'm not surprised he's coming back. Yeah, he really does. Yeah, no, he, I see him just like full hop over people a lot and just mix up with a double jump, which isn't great, but it's probably the most thing I was really um, catching him out of. So, let's see if uh, Polaroid can take advantage of that. I mean, I mean, he has been so far. These Raptor boosts. Yeah, not very really so Yeah, no. I mean, it can lead to a favorable trade if Marth's just, you know, just jumping in the air, but... Yeah, I think it's just trying to mix it up. Yeah. So risky. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, questionable down from Polaroid. You might need a... Oh, wow. Just to squeeze out from there, I think that was. Some time. Oh, Good DI. Yeah, that was getting a lot of grabs. Oh, unfortunate. Oh, uh, oh Polar, incredible patience there. He just forward throws him, knows he's going to attack, just watches him, plays it. Oh, Ooh, nasty nice tip. Tipper. Yeah. Hot stuff. Catching him out for the double jump. <laughs> Ooh, nice cat. Didn't yeah. finish the other probably. Earl is super smart. I don't know why all these East Coast people was sleeping on him. Surprised he's in top 8. He didn't have a lot of peach experience coming in against the list, but he liked down there then. Yeah. Like yeah. He really ran away with that. It was pretty impressive. Ooh. Let's see if Polar can get this edge guard. Yeah, going for the sweet top. Wow. Ooh. Nice. Another nice tech. Really, really yeah. solid edge guards on Polaroid. This is a random yeah. up there. Yeah. Well. Here we go, last stock. See this. Both probably going to play it nice and safe. Ooh, oh, another pretty... unsafe rapper was better. Good luck. Oh, tech in place. Could be it. Oh, that yeah. is it. Way yeah, too deep. Oh, here we are, back, back on FD. I mean, he was having a lot of success uh, against others on here, but um, like we said before, Polaroid, probably his most experienced matchup, this in Falco, so yep, I'm not surprised definitely. to see him really tearing. 
and certainly a much more um, experienced melee player than the vast majority of us have. Really everyone but Quetz and uh, his older brother Karu, so... <laughs> No, no, we were expecting to see him in top 3, and unless I can whip something out, it looks like that's what it might be. Oh, catching out the rapid boost. So, yep. oh, that's, down to a that's a. I mean, it was too low to get back to the stage, but charging an F smash that was pretty questionable. Yeah. Nice snare, clips him in the edge, reads that height. Earl it's doing kind of been on point this set. Earl is doing a ton of tournament winners. Yep. Uh, maybe checking up a little. Yeah, look, like, just keeps doing it. No nair, like, no low nairs on the stage. Which is interesting, because, I mean, we were playing no less than, I don't know, oh, nasty tipper. Immaculate spacing. Nasty tipper. Five or six minutes ago, I was playing this guy, and, and suddenly he's gone a bit too tournament winners at least in the rapid boost, but we'll see. Maybe Polo again to his head a little. Yeah, well, he definitely does that. And like I said, he's real patient, real good in this matchup, so. His movement is looking really nice as well. Yeah, yeah look, that looks, like, this time. looked like he got caught in his dash away there. He turned around and just stood on the spot. Got a pivot instead of a oh, oh my god! Immaculate. Oh, please. oh, he's just playing with his food now. Clips him with first hit in air on the way up and then just gives the hot F smash. Oh, Earl, coming in with a lot of full hop dares. Oh, gets it. Oh, this could be he's big. He's really good at reading the dodge roll. Oh, nice. It, it looked like I was thinking about going to the edge, so I really don't know why he backed up there. It was the best I think he should have, yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, either edge guard or get a free knee. Conversions on those rap boosts are really good. Mm -hmm. oh, knee? Ooh, oh, no, roll? Was unsure as well. Very questionable. I think that's inexperience with the mark matchup as well. Oh, Ooh, wow, nice. just a raw, raw knee, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Polaroid right, loves that side B. I, yeah. I don't know. Over here. It feels like. It feels like he always gets them. Like, see? It feels like he throws.